Um, glad to listen. Yeah, glad to be back. Yeah, me yeah. too. How was your weekend? What did you get up to? Uh, cool. Yeah, I saw the film. I told you on the last week. I met with my friend in my favorite place in Moscow. So yeah, it was pretty fine, pretty well. Nice, good. Which movie was this? I forgot. Birdman. Oh, Birdman. Yes. And what do you think? What's your rating? I didn't like it because I did not understand what what about this film. But mm -hmm. it's funny. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes it was funny. Yeah. Oh, so it was um, a strange, too, yeah, yeah, yeah strange too weird. Yeah, yeah, a bit weird. Yeah. Now, when you're watching it in the cinema, the, do you have subtitles or is it all just in English or? How does it, it was go? in Russian in cinema without subtitles. Oh, so it was. They spoke in English or was it dubbed in, in Russian? Dubbed in Russian. Yeah. Oh I see. Ah I see. So all the all the all the movies are dubbed in the cinema in Russia? Uh almostly. Mostly. Mostly. Maybe ten percent, twenty percent they have subtitles. But unfortunately it's not uh, convenient because uh, you your attention uh, is not on the playing of the actors. You just reading it's. Uh, I, I see. Yeah, it's, it's not, not the same good. experience. Yeah, you can't you you can't concentrate on the playing of the actors. The acting or the scenes. Yeah. 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 So subtitles is not very good. True. <laughs> yeah. Um. I understand what you mean. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. When I watch foreign. Films like I don't know Spanish or what whatever language it may be, it's difficult to follow what's what's happening when you have to read the subtitles all the time, yeah. es especially if there's a lot of talking going on. Yeah, yeah. you're right. <laughs> if it's a bit more you know action and not as much talking and only short um, lines, then it's it's a bit yeah. more. Oh, yeah, in subtitles, I'm trying to see films I ever watched. It's normal because I know what's about, and uh, if I want to uh, develop my English skills to mm -hmm. understand the speech of English of native speakers, I'm saw the films. I'm see the films which which I saw previously. Mm -hmm. So you prefer them to be um, not dubbed? Yeah. 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 Because I know what it's about. It's uh, uh, the main purpose. It's just the English. Yeah, of course. If if you know, <clears throat> if you want to improve your English, you, you're gonna prefer it in, uh, in English. Uh, but then depends on on your level. Yeah. You can probably understand most of it, most of the movie. You know, some other students who are still you know, at a beginner's level, they're going to struggle, so they're going to yeah. just sit there and watch the movie without understanding <laughs> what's you going know, on. 90% of the movie, so yeah, yeah. So uh, uh, yeah, it's understandable that way. And what about your weekend? It was a football? Uh, yes, well, only... Yeah, some really surprising results. It was uh, here in England. It was the FA Cup. Uh, the FA Cup. It's you know, I don't know if you know about it, but uh, no. every league, every league in every country, they have the competition. They have like clubs. the yeah, they have the competition, which is uh, a league like the English Premier League. Yeah. Um, and then you have. Um, apart from that, you have a cup. Yeah, I understand. A cup tournament, which is like a knockout stage. Yeah. So you play those matches against teams or clubs that are in the Premier League or even the lower divisions. Yeah, I understand. We have the same in Russia, Cup yeah. of Russia. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So and as soon as you lose, you're knocked out. Yeah. So you have to keep winning. Playoff. Yeah. Like yeah, it's like playoffs. Yeah. yeah. And they have many rounds, and then they reach the quarterfinal. Semi-final and then final. Yeah. Um, so 
this weekend was a very, very, I don't know, um, shocking and surprising weekend when it comes to the, the FA Cup because almost all the big clubs from the Premier League, like Chelsea, yeah. um, they lost. They were winning 2-0 and they lost 4-2. Mm. It was yeah. unbelievable um, against a lower league team. Yeah. Manchester City, the previous uh, you know, Premier League champions, they yeah. also lost at home 2-0. Um, Southampton lost, um, you know, Tottenham, I think. Maybe, the, I'm not sure. I think they lost as well. What about Arsenal? Liverpool drew. It was nil-nil. Man United also drew. Uh, I believe it was nil-nil. Arsenal won, of course. Oh. <laughs> so we are the only ones that won oh. out of the, you know, the big, big clubs. Congratulations. Thanks. Yeah. So we are through to the next round. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I was happy about that. It was a good performance. Uh, it was a good game, yeah. And what's the reason of uh, def defeated of these main brand clubs? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> a question that e even the, ma the managers can't uh, answer. <laughs> The coaches. Maybe they just don't don't want to pay attention for this cup. Yeah, I, maybe league, league of champions. I don't know. Maybe in other champions. Is, no, I think they would want to win. Uh, in the they FA just cup. they yeah. just don't consider them like uh, important uh, competitors, and they just beat them because they were so relaxing. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I think it was underestimation. They were underestimating yeah. Yeah. The, the, the lower league teams, and therefore, you know, they conceded many goals so quickly. And it is because of, um, you know, in the FA Cup, it, there's always this drama, and anyone can win because they have spirit. You know, even though these teams are have so much less um, finance and you yeah. know, they're not rich clubs like the big clubs from the Premier League. This is what kind of inspires them. Let's beat them. Let's show them yeah. that we can yeah. actually, you know, play against them. And most of them did. So that was yeah, really I, surprising. I have a friend. He's a huge fan of uh, one Russian team, Spartak. Maybe you heard. Spartak Moscow, yeah. And he a huge fan of football. Yeah, yeah he he always uh, every week he on on Moscow Arena. He's just a huge fan, and he's and he he uh, playing on bookmakers bookmak. You, you understand? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's and betting. he said he never he never pay attention for football because it's so unpredictable. You never know what will happen. Yeah. So the the, the story of FA Cup in mm. this year is described. Yeah, <laughs> that's definitely it. Yeah. So those who are betting. Who were betting against? You can imagine the odds, the odds that might might have been. You know, for example, Chelsea against the team that they were playing. Um, yeah. You know, no one's going to be betting for the lower league team. Yeah, and yes, those who did, I don't know who who did it, but yeah. they must have made a fortune, I think. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Good to see you all. Renat, Lydia, Arthur. Hello, Alan. Hello. How are you, Lydia? I'm fine, thank you. How was your weekend? Mm, it was uh, a great weekend. I was invited, invi 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 invited, invited um, by my relatives, and mm -hmm. I spent very uh, hilarious time. Okay. Very nice. So you, you spent some time with family, relatives? Yes, mm -hmm, correct. Very good. And Arthur, how are you? How's your weekend? Hello, Alan. As usual, a lot of things, also relatives, and a lot of reading. Very good. All right, Renat, how was your weekend? Um, weekend was good, energetic, busy, drunk, dancing, dancing. So, <laughs> as I cannot say as usual. This weekend was really 
crampy. Is it correct? Ah, yeah. oh, no, scary, scary. Mm -hmm. Scary weekend. Uh, there were many things to do, and uh, yeah. Mm. A little bit tired from weekend. It's, it has to be against, but I am yeah. tired from weekend, yes. Wow. <laughs> so, so you had, you were partying, hey? You were spending yes, time? Yes, yes. Did I to tell you that the last uh, Wednesday was my wife's birthday, so we oh. went with my mm. friends to celebrate it. Oh, I see. Nice. No, Maybe we over celebrated it. Oh, that's nice. You got out <laughs> with your friends and family. That's good. Yeah, I was just telling um, Stas about my weekend. I, um, you know, the foot, <clears throat> the football was on again, and I was happy. And actually, I had um, a friend of mine visit uh, visit me from Australia. Um, he's he's going on a world tour. I think <laughs> he's been visiting a lot of countries and cities. Uh, so now he's in in England. He's visiting someone in London. So he stopped over yesterday in Manchester, and I picked him up. We went to um, you know have lunch together, and um, I took him to the famous Old Trafford um, Stadium, you know Manchester United Stadium. He wanted to take a photo. Uh, even though he's a die-hard Arsenal fan, and um, yeah, so I had a good time with him. And uh, when he left back, he took a bus back to London. So it was a nice weekend for me as well. Um, any other interesting stories to tell, guys? So we all had a nice weekend. We're glad it's um, Monday, yes? Back to reality, I guess. It's reality and good weather. <laughs> good weather, no. hopefully. Are you, are you having good weather? Yes, sunny, uh, sunny nice. day. I like, I like it. <clears throat> Very good, yeah. Over here, uh, the snow has melted, uh, finally. Uh, for the whole week, we had you know, a bit of snow uh, here and there, but now it's totally melted. And I hope we can have some sunshine as well. <laughs> yeah. Renat, what's the weather like where you are? Is it still very cold? Oh, still weather very... is uh, it's unusually cold. From, I think, today it was starting to be very, very cold, and uh, all the lessons are nowadays and today including a council so that's why I am having this opportunity to, oh, <laughs> to be see. with you in this time so you're not going to school the then? Mm. I am at school we just have to be here oh, I see, but the there, students. Are no mm. students. there are no students here mm. yeah actually there was talk so about computer work. sorry yeah, I was just going to say that we had a similar case. They were talking about the weather here because it was kind of cold and really icy. So they were saying at my my son's school that if it continues this way, they're going to have to, you know, keep the students at home because it's too dangerous for them, you know. But now it's it's not as cold anymore. So mm, I'm glad then for you. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, it, it's actually good because if my son was to be home, that would be a problem <laughs> because we're we are all kind of working or, you know, out of the house, so one of us will have to stay home and babysit. Otherwise, uh, it's good that he goes to school. Yeah. Um, okay, let's get started, shall we? Winston Churchill is our... A famous individual that we will talk about today. Um, I'm sure you all know Sir Winston, uh, Winston Churchill. Um, so here we have a statement, or phrase rather, by the man himself. 
Success consists of going from failure to failure without loss of enthusiasm. Mm. This is a very good statement. Yes, it's very <clears throat> deep, uh, deep thought about life. Yes. Tell me about this. How, what do you understand a bit of it, and can we use it anywhere, or is this, is this just war-related or running uh, or in regards to running a country? Mm, you mean uh, where where we can use this phrase? Yeah. yeah. Oh, maybe when we try to calm somebody uh, because uh, he fell fell down, maybe something uh, wrong happened. Mm -hmm. You can say, "Don't worry, uh, you. It will be uh, everything will be okay because success consists of going from failure to failure without loss enthusiasm." <laughs> and yeah, good. It's good tips, uh, advice. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. So I think it, it can be motto in our life. Yeah. So it must be. <laughs> must be. It must be because what's it, what what is this statement all about? About enthusiasm, yes. Yes, it's all about enthusiasm. And if you want to reach a certain goal, um you will come across obstacles and you know failures. But you need to remain enthusiastic in order to reach success. Yeah. Very good. Okay. So let's have a look at these uh, warm up questions. I hope it's not too small for you. So, do you know when and how long uh, Winston Churchill was Prime Minister of Great Britain? Five years uh, be, uh, during uh, the Second World War. Yes. And after that, uh, there was another Prime Minister, and uh, Winston Churchill was again Prime Minister for about four or five years. Ah, yeah, good. You know your history. Excellent. He's the most, he's the most brilliant Prime Minister of Great Britain with Mar Margaret Thatcher. Only to these guys, to Prime Minister was with whom I remember, and maybe uh, people rem uh, outside Great Britain remember because there was such huge uh, historical mm -hmm. um, figures. Yes, they were. And he had wisdom, I think. <clears throat> he yeah. was wise. He was a wise leader. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, now do you know which political party he belonged to? Conservative, if uh, if I'm not wrong. Does anyone else know? Can we agree? Mm, I don't know <laughs> about politics. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate uh, him like a person, like leader, but I never. It's never. It's not interest for me about politics and parties and that. Yeah, yeah. Um, you're right, Arthur. He was um, a part of the Conservative Party. Yes, very good. Uh, what about the third one? Did you know that he won a Nobel Prize? And can you guess what it was for? I think for, I'm just guessing, maybe for keeping peace throughout the world without making any war. Or maybe for literature, to, to variety. Mm. Arthur, what do you think? Uh, I guess, I guess, I guess for, for peace. But but maybe for literature because he uh, he prints a lot of uh, articles and even books when uh, when he was uh, before he was a prime minister. Yes, very good. it was literature. It was it was literature. Yeah. Good. Well done, guys. Have you heard of any of his uh, famous speeches, or have you read any of them? 
a lot of, a lot of. <laughs> oh, you have? Good, awesome. But I know mo uh, mostly of them on 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 on, on, on Russian, mm -hmm. and it was how to say uh, very strong uh, and about his enemies also. Mm -hmm. Wow. Do you and remember any any famous quotes or? Maybe it is was not him, but I cannot watch the world without whiskey. Uh, uh, like I, I know this word, mm -hmm. this phrase on, on on Russian, but on English I don't know. Mm -hmm. But on Russian it will. It's not a not speech. Not... It's just uh, I don't know. Maybe it's citata. I don't know. It's like a quote. Yeah, quote. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. part of. But speech. It's then uh, then. Uh, then he just uh, you understand it's long uh, long thing and it's like an essay I don't know mm -hmm. yeah we or we we all uh, heard about his aphorisms I don't know but it's not the speech if you're talking about whiskey in the world <laughs> so I never heard I I know he's uh, very clever he's uh, he is very cool, and his speeches are very famous, and his literature is very witty and humorous. But I don't know; I can't. O only one speech I know. It's uh, uh, from uh, Martin Luther King. It's uh, "I have a dream." Yeah, everyone heard about this, but uh, I don't know about speeches of ch Churchill. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I agree. I was wrong about speeches. It was it was a phrase, but his most famous speech. It was in 1939 or 1930, 30, or after the after the uh, world, Second World War was end, mm -hmm. and the, after this speech, it 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 is the start of the Cold War, as I remember. The, it was a speech against the Soviet Union. Oh yeah, yeah, something. It reminded me. Yeah, it looks like a true. Mm. Yeah. Okay, maybe we can look it up online. This speech was in one university, if I don't, uh, if I'm not, not wrong, and it was about that Western countries must be must stop Soviet Union in his expansion to the Western Europe after the Second World War. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Now, do you know what uh, what it means to be a knight? Maybe nobles, if you uh, do something good, you can be uh, knight. It's ancient tradition, maybe. <laughs> like a uh, king of Arthur uh, from King from Arthur? There. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it may be uh, like tra uh, past tradition in our life. I think, Previa, it's, previous. I think it's the sign that you are very useful for country. It's like purchased uh, uh, zasluga. I don't know. It's like this. I think. The word, the word, the word. Yeah, yeah, something like this. Because yeah. every everyone heard that Elton John is a knight, Sean Connery is a knight. But what <laughs> it means, I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's just a wording. It's just uh, uh, the. It's, cover yeah. Going they they uh, re respectful I don't know but maybe yeah. it's it's more complicated. Yeah. yeah, I'm not sure of the actual um, criteria that you need to have in order to be knighted, but it's as far as I know it's a title you know given to certain individuals, um, you know that have achieved something great in life. You know, we have many individuals, like you just mentioned some of them, uh, who have had an impact, you know, in the world and who are considered, you know, important. Um, they can, um, you know, either whatever they, they were doing, like, for example, Alex Ferguson is a football manager. Yeah. Oh, he's but he, was, he was the best. He was the best. Yeah. So they knighted him, you know. I mean, the queen knight, knighted him. And um, so for showing excellence in something that you do, uh, you know, the queen decides to give those individuals uh, this title. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. 
here are 10 uh, vocabulary words which we'll look at before we get into the reading text. So let's have a look at them and see if you can match them. <clears throat> so the first one, uh, Rinat, you can do the first one for me, please. Inspire. Inspire. <clears throat> Encourage, to encourage, to give positive feelings. Yes, very good. Uh, a good teacher can inspire students to learn more. For example, Alan, you inspired me to learn English more deeply. Are you flattered? I'm very flattered, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> very kind of you, thanks, Renat. Yes, and you inspire me as well. You're a great student. Yeah, certain students inspire teachers, you know, to um, um, to pursue great greater goals in teaching as well. Yeah, that's a great example. Okay, what about the second one, uh, Stas? Uh, capture. I think it's uh, to take by force to make a prisoner. It's F, uh, and most difficult is. Uh, Sentence, yeah. Yeah, let's see if you can put a nice sentence together. Uh, mm, uh, mm. Someone was captured. I, I just can can imagine some historical person mm -hmm. who was captured. <laughs> uh, Guys, maybe you will help me. That was good, yeah. You you got a good start there. So if you can think of somebody that was captured in the past. Uh, the Emperor of uh, Russian, uh, Emperor Nikolai II, he was captured by c c communists. Ah, he was captured by communists. Was, yeah. yeah, good, very good. Yeah, excellent sentence. So here we're using capture as a verb, but it can also be a noun. Yeah, you know that. Uh, yeah, but the capture, yeah. the capture of a city, the capture of uh, a certain individual. It's like the arrest. Mm. Oh yeah, I understand. Yeah, or oh, seizure. Uh, seizure or when, when you seize somebody. Yeah, I understand. All right, All right great. Number three, Lydia. Escape. Um, <clears throat> what is it? Um, get free. Uh, to get free. Very good. Mm, since the cell was uh, wasn't uh, closed, closed. Uh, the the lion. Escaped uh, from the cage. Ca uh, cage, not cell. Cage. Yeah. Very good. Yes. So it seems that the cage was unlocked. Yes. Yeah. Or you know, the cage door was a bit open, so that uh, the line escaped. Yes. Very good. Uh, yesterday I watched uh, your video about scenes. Uh, and also, <laughs> it, uh, I mean, uh, this, um, how to say, it? So, uh, um, clauses, uh, clauses, it's mm -hmm. complicated uh, oh, sentences. Yes. <laughs> it was so long time ago, it may be four months, but... <laughs> All right, yeah, I don't even remember, I was like, clauses, did I do clauses last week? <laughs> I did not, I did not um, remember, because he, he was in that lesson. Took, took part this mm. lesson. That must have been a while ago, yeah. Mm -hmm. You benefited from that, yeah? What? Helped you. Did you benefit um, from that lesson? Did it help you? Yes, because it's very interesting to... It's uh, um, speaking for eels, eels, yes, or eel, yep. eels, yes. And I revise my um, knowledge when I watch this. I'm was watching. Yeah, very good. Okay, 
lovely. I'm uh, glad to hear that. Okay, uh, Arthur, number four. Pension, a payment made to a retired person. Uh, in Russian Federation, the pension is uh, very low. Yeah, that's true. I think we spoke about this once before. We had a topic of this. I think, Arthur, you were in it. Um, excellent. Very good. Good sentence. Um, okay, Rinat? Employment. Five. Number five, employment. Mm. Work. Yeah. Yes, employment. Just a work. Uh, <clears throat> uh, but uh, I cannot say if you want to be employment. I think in this case it's it has something little has something another meaning in employment. For example, can I say the rate of employment have been decreasing since this economic crisis started? Yes, absolutely. Why not? That's mm. good. The rate of employment, yeah, has been increasing or decreasing. Very good sentence. Since yes. this crisis started. Okay. Uh, since the start okay. of this crisis or since the crisis started? Yeah, either way. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you. Number six, Stas. Uh, defeat. Man, and I can't find. <laughs> I know what what does it mean, but uh, I can't find the correct variety. Maybe first. The win a victory. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. But but it's very uh, controversial uh, word because yeah. Yeah, win I... and uh, have um, have yeah. uh, and fall. It, this the say uh, this word uh, for this uh, different meanings ah, very yeah. strange and, I think and sometimes a, confused me. <laughs> to win the lottery, I thought that I did, did consider this. Oh, thank you, Lydia. Uh, and my sentence is: uh, Third Reich was defeated by Union force of uh, Soviet Union, USA, and Great Britain. Mm, yeah, very good. Yeah. Yeah, so here we're, we're talking more about like to yeah, defeat uh, when it's a verb, yeah? Uh, it's like to win a victory over someone, either battle or uh, even in a football match, in a sporting competition. Yeah. Uh, Arsenal, Arsenal has defeated, uh, I don't know, Man City. Mm. So we've won. Yeah, Arsenal has won yeah. in this case. Yeah. It's uh, proper. Yeah. But describing is destruction, uh, failure, or and victory. It's <laughs> the um, opposite uh, words. I. <laughs> um, describing. Ah, now, if you want to use it as a noun, then it kind of, uh, then it's a loss. It's not a good thing then, yeah? Um, for example, we suffered a defeat. Mm -hmm. We suffered a defeat, so you lost in this mm. case. But I, I can see how it can get a little bit complicated. Mm. Yes. Okay, um, seven. Uh, Lydia, I believe it's your turn, yeah? Mm, improve to make better. Oh, it's very <laughs> um, famous uh, <laughs> for learner, I mean English learner. Yeah. Many people want to improve their English. <laughs> It's yes. A very common uh, statement. When uh, somebody asks why uh, why do you learn in, why do you learn English or study English? Mm -hmm. The common answer I want to improve my English. <laughs> yeah. So it's nice and simple. To improve, you know, the English language. 
you know, but you know, some people they say, some students will say, I need it for work. Uh, I'm hoping to travel or to visit another country, so English is uh, necessary for me to know. So there will be a more detailed answer. Mm -hmm. All right, eight, mm -hmm. Arthur. Update to make more modern. Um, uh, 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 I receive a lot of updates from the Microsoft ad updates uh, server. Very good. Yes. <laughs> yes. Nice way. And it 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 is confuse me. Uh, how to say it's it's uh, it slows down the uh, my computer, the working memory of my computer. Yes. Yeah. Nice way of putting it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. What about nine? Arinat. Finance. It is money. It has to be money. Yeah. Finance. Finance. A payment made to retail. No, no, no. It's not this one. Work. Management of money. That's it. Good. Uh, uh, <clears throat> I think nowadays, in order to be, in order to be able to succeed, we have to uh, be able to take control of our finance. Mm -hmm. Very good. In order to succeed, we need to uh, be able to take control of our finance. Perfect. Yes. Thank you. Okay, last one. Stas. Uh, honorary. Honorary. Yeah. Oh, it's spelled. Yeah, well pronounced. Honorary. Honorary. It's uh, given in respect. G. Excellent. Uh, to be a knight, it's uh, honorary a reward of United Kingdom. Yes. In the United Kingdom, maybe. In the United Kingdom. Okay. Okay. Very good. Now let's have a look at our text. Here we have it. Uh, it's pretty lengthy. Okay. So let's start reading. Uh, Lydia, you can be the first. Winston week. Churchill is best known as a Prime Minister of Great Britain. During the Second World War, 1940 to 1945, his speeches to the British people during the war inspired many to keep fighting. Fighting, yes. Mm -hmm. Continue. Yeah, one more. We'll read to each. Uh, Churchill, uh, Churchill was born in Oxfordshire, Oxfordshire. England on November uh, 30, um, 1874. He went to military college. As a young officer, he served in Cuba, India, and, Su and the Sudan. In nine, and 1899, he went to South Africa to report on the Boer, Boer War. Mm, Boer, Boer War. He was captured by the Boers but escaped and wrote a book about it. Very good. Well read. Thank you very much. Arthur? Uh, in 1900, Churchill was elected to parliament as a conservative, but he was soon unhappy with their policies, and in 1904, he became a liberal. From 1906 to 1922, Churchill held many important government jobs. He brought in employment, old age pension, and health laws that improved people's lives. He updated the British Navy, which then defeated the German Navy in the First World War. He also set up the Royal Air Force. Excellent. Thank you very much. Yeah, when it comes to these dates or these years, we just say 1900. Okay, okay, yeah. 1900. 1900 is the most common, uh, or 1900. But in 1900, you know, Churchill was elected, so on and so forth. Okay, very good. Mm. Uh, Rinat? Uh, from 1906, 
Oh. oh in 1924, five. Churchill. Uh, in 1924, Churchill became a conservative again. He was finance minister until 1929, when they lost the election. From 1929 to 1939, he was not in government. By 1939, Nazi Germany, Germany was trying to take uh, over Europe, and Churchill was put in charge of Britain's war plans. When the prime minister quit in 1940, Churchill replaced him and was prime minister for the rest of the Second World War. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, and you can finish it, um, Stas. Uh, Churchill knew Britain. Churchill knew Britain could not defeat Germany by itself. He asked the United States to help. They shared and traded war supplies and fought together. Churchill also needed the Soviet Union's help. To get it, Britain and the United States said that the Soviet Union could control Eastern Europe after the war. In 1945, the war ended and Churchill lost the next election. He was prime minister again from 1951 to 1955. In 1953, he was made a knight and he won the Nobel Prize for Literature. In 1963, he became an honorary American citizen. Churchill retired in 1955. He continued to write and to paint something he was very, something he was very good at. He died in England in 1965. Very good. Yeah, he died in England in 1965. Okay, well, very well read. Thank you, guys. Um, any questions about any other words here? You maybe didn't understand. No? no. Okay. <clears throat> All right then. Ah, uh, let's see how good you are with numbers and dates. Yeah, there is a lot of it. I know. <laughs> um, I think yeah, maybe if if you look on the left side, it kind of makes sense. You don't even need to look on the, you know, on the dates. It kind of makes sense what happened first. He was born, for example. You know, it's probably the first one, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's have a look. Let's see if we can match them correctly. So, what's the first one? Churchill F. lived from? F. Yeah, F. From F. 1874, 1965. Yes, very good. That's an easy one. What about the second one? E. E. He was Prime Minister from, yeah, very good. So two times he was Prime Minister. Excellent. Easy as well. Three. B. He was born in 1874. Very good. Okay. Four. A liberal Party. Uh, G. G. 1904, G. 1924. Very good. So far, so good. Five. C or I, I don't remember. I, maybe I. Yeah, very close, wasn't it? It was just before 1900, yeah, so 1899. All right. Six, Churchill was first elected to government in? C. I, you see, yeah. Yes, 1900, very good. He was made a knight in. Maybe A, no? B, D, no? <laughs> a, A. A? It was A, yes, 1953. <laughs> Where was it here? It said it. Uh, yeah, 1953 he was made a knight. Yeah, very good. <laughs> Um, a. Churchill became an honorary American in D. 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 That's D. 1963. He retired in J. 1955. Um, yeah. Yes, it did. 1955. Yeah. Excellent. And World War Two ended. H. H. Everyone knows. <laughs> <laughs> 
Very good, excellent guys, well done. There you go, now we know a bit more about Winston Churchill. Um, mm, mm, if we do this now... Okay, I think we still have time for the other one. So try to give me full answers, yeah, complete answers to these questions, please. Um, so what we'll do, um, let's say, uh, Rinat, you could start with the first question. So I actually, I will, I will say okay. the question, you answer it. Once you answer it, then you need to ask the second question for stars and then so on and so forth, okay? So what kind of college did Churchill attend? As far as I remember, Churchill attended a military college. Perfect, very good. Okay, you can mm -hmm. ask the next and, question. Uh, yeah, Arthur, can you answer me name for countries that he went to before becoming a politician? Okay, as I remember, uh, before becoming a politician, Churchill uh, was in uh, in Cuba, uh, in India. And Boer, uh, Boer, Boer, I forget this. the country. It's not the country, it was Boer War. Boer, ah. it's uh, people mm. in mm. the South Africa. South Africa, yeah. And maybe in Sudan, yeah? Yeah. Yes. South, South Africa, yeah. And the fourth country, I don't remember. Maybe you, somebody could help me as a fourth country. Yeah, I don't just... remember. Maybe South Africa. Yeah, South Africa. Yeah. South Africa, okay. For the Boer uh, War. And Lydia, when did Churchill first became a member of the British Parliament? Hmm. <laughs> just come. It's related to his date, and I, yes, it's yeah. not my cup of tea about <laughs> this. <laughs> I have a memory like a sieve. Okay. Try, at least put the, put the sentence together, and then we can add the date at the end. Maybe 19... Mm, I don't know. 20s, 1920s? Mm, no. No. So how how would you begin forming this answer? How would you start the answer? Uh, Church Church yeah. Churchill um, be became. First became. So first became a member of British Parliament in, and then I don't know. That's okay. Does anyone remember? Nine hundred. Yes. Nine hundred. Mm. Nineteen hundred. 1900, sorry. <laughs> that's fine. Okay, that's good, yeah, well done. So Churchill first became a member of the British Parliament in 1900. Very good. Four, okay, Lydia, you can ask this question. Why did Churchill leave the cons Conservative Party and join the l Liberals? Who answer? This is for Stas. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it's a pretty tough question, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Churchill lived the conserv Conservative Party and during the Liberals, I don't remember why. <laughs> Maybe he dis disappeared, uh, dis dis not disappeared. Maybe just uh, all searching. No, no. <laughs> he was disappointed about uh -huh. uh, conser Conservative Party. Yes. And then he uh, gave up this party uh, and joined in li joined in liberals. Yeah, good. So he was disappointed with what? Um, maybe uh, si si a point of view or sides of rules. Yes, yes, policies. He was policies. unhappy or disappointed with their policies. So he joined the liberals. Okay, very good. Uh, Renat, what did he accomplish when he was in the liberal government? Please tell me. <clears throat> if I still remember when he was in the liberal government, he did uh, many government works as a, as a finance minister um, and uh, he uh, like uh, got 
employment, he got this pension, mm -hmm. and before becoming prime minister, he was working in a place like a war mil uh, war minister or mil military minister, I think. He was responsible for military things. British Navy. Yes. Yeah, British Navy. Maybe. So. Yeah. And uh, can you answer me which political party did he belong to when he became prime minister? Arthur. Uh, he again joined the Conservative Party. Before before he became the prime minister, I think that he, yeah. in 1924 or 22 he joined again Conservative Party. Excellent, very good, thank you. Next one, Alpha, could you read the question? Okay, excuse me. Um, nom, 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 nom. Uh, Stas, uh, could, you, uh, could you answer which countries helped Britain to defeat Nazi Germany? Thank you for the simple question because <laughs> that one is very, very difficult. So, uh, it was, Lydia can do the last one. <laughs> uh, it was uh, countries helped Britain to defeat Nazi Germany are ah, Union, Soviet Union, uh, and United States. Yes, very good. Uh, Lydia, please tell me, uh, how was Churchill able to inspire the British people during the war? The war? Mm, he was uh, a rather, how to say, um, uh, he can uh, speak uh, very well and he can inspire British people not, uh, during with, the war. With he, his speech? Yes, not... Speeches. not I I knew this word. I mean orator, but <laughs> I forget. L l maybe it's uh, from L. Uh, Lucret? No, not Lucret. Yeah, it, there is a word in English, orator. Orator. Yeah. Orator. Or he, he was a good orator, a public speaker. Yeah. Ah, public speaker. Maybe. Very good. Yeah, that's exactly it. So he inspired them with his uh, with his speeches. Yeah. Yeah, he mm -hmm. was a good, a good public speaker, and he had very inspiring speeches that he that he gave. Excellent, well done, guys. You've answered this very well, I have to say. Now let's see if we can complete these sentences. Um, <clears throat> find a word or words in the story uh, that we read to replace the words in brackets and complete the following sentences. Mm -hmm. So, first one. Rinat, what do you think the first one is? Churchill first became a member of the British government in 1900. 100s. British Parliament. Also. Yeah, very good. British Parliament. Yeah, instead of government. Okay, good. Second mm -hmm. one. Arthur? Churchill left the Conservative Party because he didn't like their policies. Yeah, he didn't like their policies. Very good. Third one, Lydia. <coughs> Churchill went to uh, military college. Yeah. School to learn how to be a soldier. Military college. Very good. Stars. <laughs> Britain and the United States uh, were supplies switched. I don't know. I don't remember. Mm. But, um, this is an interesting one. Share. Share. Mm, yeah, but there's a better word that we use here. When you're that exchanging was, from one side. The text. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. What What do countries do <clears throat> when it comes to business? Make a trade union. Ah. Uh, yes. Make Make a verb from that. Word, Arthur. To trade. Yeah. So past tense. Trading. Traded. Yes. War supplies. They traded war supplies. Yeah. Very good. And they shared it, but they traded as well. You know. Okay. Last one. Do not. 
Churchill go to his pension in 1955 or retired in 1955? Very good. Yeah, he went into pension or he retired? Uh, retired. Yeah, retired. Retired, I think it's more suitable. Yeah, retired is more suitable, correct. All right, that was nice and easy. Um, mm, this is interesting. Let's look at these. Uh, uh, who's in charge? Have you heard of this idiom, to be in charge yes. of? Yeah, you all know this. So to be the top person or to have the top responsibility. For example, Winston Churchill was in charge of Britain's war plans. All right. So who is in charge of your classroom? Alan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like your answer. <laughs> yeah, or oh, the teacher, yeah. Very good. <clears throat> Second one. Putin. <laughs> Aish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, um, Rinat, who's who's in charge of your country? Nazarbayev. Sorry? Nazarbayev. Okay, good. Good. Uh, and who is in charge of an airplane? First pilot. Pilot. The pilot. The main pilot. Yeah. Uh, who's in charge of a bank? Who has many money? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of money. A lot of money. German Ac account. Account. The, a lot. the manager of a bank. Ah. <laughs> I think the chairman. No. Uh, the bank manager. He's in charge. Every bank has a manager that you know is in charge. Chairman. He, you know, he's kind like of. The fa founders of the bank. They they charge. No. They could uh, influence on yeah, well, manager. Definitely, but they're not always there, are they? They are somewhere well, else. In charge, top person. Yeah. Well, in um, technically, yes, you're right. But usually, the person that's working in a bank is the the bank manager. He's the one in charge every day. He's mm. there, you know. Okay. Um, and who's in charge of a ship? Captain. Very good. And who's in charge of a school? Director. Oh, Director of a school. Principal. Principal. Ah, yes. Principal. Very good. Principal. How do we spell principal? Principal. P R E N C P A L. E I. I. C I P A L. Yeah. Very good. That's it. Excellent. All right, guys. <clears throat> You've done well. I'll show you, I shall give you this um, PDF before I let you go. Are there any questions about any of these? No, no it, was it was easy, it was <laughs> uh, easy. Words, words today. And we know a lot of new. Thank you. It was yes. interesting. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it, yeah, it's more kind of an intermediate level, but you guys are, uh, uh, you know, probably a bit more, a bit higher than that. I would say. Yeah. Um, Okay, so where are we? Let me just quickly find it for you. Mm -hmm. Famous people. Sir Winston. Where are you? There you are. Okay. <clears throat> okay, guys, I hope you have a splendid day. I um, look forward to seeing you guys later on. Yeah. If you're still awake, I don't know, Rinat might be asleep though. <laughs> it's gonna be late for Rinat. But uh, anyways, um, thank you very much for joining. I think you can. Can you open the link? Yes. Is it working? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. I shall Bye. see you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.